We're here trying to find ways to improve America's relationship with the rest of the world. America, you know, there is a wrong perception that people here in the Middle East hate America. This is not true. It's not a question of hate. It's a question of frustration. But I uh, don't see that uh, we hate America. And I don't see that uh, we should uh, let the situation deteriorate between the United States and the Arab world. Here's my theory, that there is no Arab world. There is an Arab world. There's different ways of cutting up. If you were to divide the world into people who like to have a beach party, there would be the beach league and the non-beach league. And just to call people arbitrarily Arabs, I think is misleading. No, no, no. You must have been drinking too much. Politics is so convoluted with like, you know, policy, 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 policy. It's like me versus you, you versus me. There's no human element. There's not like this guy could actually be my friend. The whole point of an international beach party to me would be like, hey, get two people together that weren't friends before, put them on a beach, and you just have them hang out. You have them hang out and they talk. And once you reestablish that human element between two people, it becomes a different story. It becomes less about countries and more about people. Let's say the United States were a 20-year-old boy. It was like squeezed into a 20-year-old boy. And the Middle East was squeezed into a 20-year-old girl. Would you go out with us? No way. No way? What if the United States was a 20-year-old girl and you were a 20-year-old boy? Would you ask us out? Blonde or not blonde? Could you describe briefly how the United States is perceived by your countrymen and yourself? We like Americans. I think there's a big difference between the American people and the government. One has to distinguish between the foreign policies and, and the people. The open-minded people are fine with America, they like it, but we do have closed-minded people who think that Americans are bad. They don't see that the culture and the people are different from the politics and the government. If the United States was a dessert, what kind of dessert do you think it would be? Like ice cream, pie, cake? Milkshake. Milkshake? What flavor milkshake? Vanilla. Vanilla? Yes. Do you like vanilla? Yes. I don't like I don't eat it. Oh. Peanut butter. Mango. Carrot cake. I don't know why, but I'm thinking broccoli. Do you like carrot cake? Um, I do. Do you like broccoli? <laughs> no. So you really do hate us? I don't Still hate you. Americans. I love Americans. Except the frosting can be quite fattening, and if you eat too much of it, it can kill you. Is the American government broccoli or the American people broccoli? Government. And so what would the Policies. American people be? French fries. French fries. Do you like French fries? I love it. But you can't have too much of it. You have to be careful because it can be harmful to your health if you expose yourself, yourself to the much. United States. If you were a 20-year-old girl in college and the United States was a 20-year-old boy, would you date the United States? Yes. If yes. you were a boy and the United States was a girl, would you ask us out? I don't know. I have no problem with that, yeah. <gasps> yeah, maybe. Why not? No, I don't date. In the Western oh, sense, definitely no sexual interaction whatsoever. No, we don't do that in the United States either. That's just strictly in the media and Madonna videos. Are you kidding? So one of the questions I wanted to ask was, does the Arab League have a designated hitter? <laughs> anyway, um, if you were a 20-year-old boy and the United States was a 20-year-old girl, would you ask us out for a date? Yeah, of course. Really? Oh, yes. Not only on, uh, if I were 20, 30 or 40, I would have done the same. If the United States were a 30-year-old boy yeah. and you were a 30-year-old girl and we asked you out, would you go out with us? I uh, don't think I uh, can... Uh, I'm comfortable with the idea that I consider I... myself a girl. Uh, you said if you were in college and you were a 20-year-old girl, you would date the United States? Or let's say that the United uh, States is the girl. I, I thought you asked me being a boy. All right, you'd be the boy. If uh, you were the boy and you took the United States out, would you give a goodnight kiss on the first date or not? I would start with flowers, flowers. then wine, and Ooh. then kisses. 
Do you think America is a good date? I think America is the best date you can possibly have. Do you feel like our message is getting out there? We don't do a very good job sometimes of helping people to realize all we do for the rest of the world. But uh, Do you think we can improve our image if we could get more representatives of America to wear ties like these? Because this tie says, howdy, hi, we want to be friends, let's get along. This tie says that this senator isn't afraid of anything. It's got these things that could be beach balls. What about like an international beach party? If America just threw an international beach party, do you think that would help our image? If well, we... the problem is, is that people keep trying to steal our beach balls. It's just that simple. What would you tell us to do to improve our image abroad? To learn more about us, practice what you preach, and people have to be more aware, read more, travel more, study more. Start learning more languages and to watch more uh, channels other than CNN and Fox. Like ESPN. Respect other cultures and religions. Do you mean all other cultures and religions or just the good ones? Take the time to learn a little bit more about what's going on here. and. You don't have to be sympathetic to the Arabs, but you will find out after a short while that a lot of what they're saying is right. It's not such a hard work. It's a matter to pay more attention and uh, respect their own differences because we live in a world of differences rather than in a world of agreements. What's your favorite entree? For a good Israeli, there is nothing better than a real green salad. Green salad. Do you yes. think the United States is as good as green salad? No, we are much better. We are better than green salad. No, our green salad is better than American green salad. The Israeli oh, green salad. Oh, Israeli green salad is better than the United States. It's better than Israel. This question of image of the U.S., it is the policy. Change the policy, the perception will change. In 24 hours. A small thing we were thinking we could do is have a big beach party. We're thinking that a beach party could bring world peace if we were to bring Arabs, and the French, maybe not the French, <laughs> maybe a few other countries together. We had a beach party and they could all meet each other, then they could go home with a better understanding of one another. What do you think of that idea? I'll be the first one there. Do you think you'd come to our international beach party? Absolutely. If you did get it together, who knows? Who knows what happened?